Today's video is all about the Alfred DB1 Smart Lock features. I'm curious, after watching this video, which Alfred DB1 feature did you like the best? Please leave a comment below. The first thing that you already observed is how attractive the Alfred DB1 is. You might have even thought, hey, that looks as slick as my smartphone. You are exactly right. This isn't a door lock that looks like it has a keypad added to it. The Alfred DB1 appeals to everyone with a smartphone. You'll just wish you were able to spend the time with the DB1 like you do your phone. If nothing else, this lock will make you smile and admire it every time you walk inside. Enough about the looks, although that will probably sell about 90% of these locks, here's everything else the Alfred DB1 can do. Feature number one, embedded passcodes. You can't wave a key around and have someone make a copy. You can show them your four digit passcode and they could easily memorize it. With the Alpha DB1, you can bury your four to 10 digit passcode in between random numbers. Feature number two, one touch entry. One touch entry. This is glorious. The Alfred DB1 One Touch Entry feature uses geofencing enabled on your cell phone. I had some concerns about what happens as my phone floats around the house. Let's try it out. Getting out of bed on one side of the house, then making the reason to get out of bed, glorious espresso, which then necessitates Facebooking in the nearest location, which is well within Bluetooth range of the lock. No notifications. Here's a more realistic situation. I am two blocks away from home. I'm on my hot ride bicycle. I'm gonna race home and you are gonna see this one touch entry in action. Feature number three, micro USB port battery backup. With this lock, you have two options. Find another door or free my mind. I'm gonna take out one of the batteries in the DB1 to simulate a dead battery scenario. You can see here, it's in the lock position. So let's go out another door and try plugging in my handy Rockwell power block. Observation number one, you don't need a backup key anymore. Observation number two, there's a really handy hidden micro USB port. Feature number four, lock the door by pushing any key for three seconds. The Alfred way of unlocking a door is desirable for a few different reasons. First, this is an added security feature. Rather than locking the door with a dedicated button, Alfred is using any digit on the keypad to lock the door. This is an intelligent way of adding fingerprints to the keypad. Just keep it random and it will be impossible to guess your pin code based on fingerprints. At least two other manufacturers enable the keypad with random key presses. This is their way of adding security by adding additional fingerprints to the keypad. In comparison, Alfred is using a required button press locking to do the same thing. This leads right into the next observation where there's less wear on the keypad based on those comparisons we just made. I wanna be clear, I am not saying that those other locks are no good. They are very good locks and they will keep your home safe. What I am saying is Alfred is just a step ahead in terms of carefully thinking about how each button press is used. The ability to minimize wear and make it useful is very, very smart. Feature number five, a silicone gasket on both sides. I'd like to highlight the silicone gasket on the front side of the Alfred DB1. It protects the mechanicals of the DB1 from dust, rain, and dirt. There's also a gasket on the back side of the lock. This protects the door against rubbing or gouging from the lock on both sides of the door. Feature number six, no twisting needed. The front side of the lock requires no turning. You can open and close as well as access all functionality through the Alfred app. Feature number seven, security despite a stolen cell phone. As soon as you log into your account on another phone, you'll be logged out of the account in your stolen phone. That should give you peace of mind. Here's everything else in a minute and a half. There are three volume settings on the lock. 
and off. Alfred says the four AA batteries will last about one year to 18 months. You can have up to 20 pin codes. It's a real 0 to 19 for you engineers. These pin codes can be modified at a moment's notice on the Alfred app if you have remote access. You can create reoccurring pin codes. You can also create time-sensitive pin codes. Santa Claus is approved between 10 and 2 on Christmas Eve and Christmas. Speaking of remote access, the Alpha DB1 comes with Bluetooth capability. So when you're nearby, you can access the lock through your phone using the Alfred Home app. However, if you want to connect to the lock away from home, you'll have to buy the correct model for Z-Wave capability. Or for Wi-Fi access, you'll have to buy an additional Wi-Fi bridge. If you have one of these options, you can enable notifications so you know who is entering your house and when. The Alfred app keeps a record on who opens the door and when they open it. There is one additional mode, away mode. The keyless version of the Alfred DB1 is bump proof. There is no cylinder to pick. Auto relock is another optional feature where after 30 seconds, the lock will automatically deploy. Alfred customer service is phenomenal. The Alfred DB1 is functional jewelry with embedded passcodes, micro USB backup, and one touch unlocking. Did I mention how good it looks? This is disruptive innovation. It's going to change the looks and usage of smart locks from here on out. It is a package deal you can't find anywhere else. Except for the DB2. I have to give a big thanks to Alfred for sending me a promotional lock. If you like what you see but have more questions, I have a full-on deep dive video along with a blog post. Both are listed in the description. I'm not going to lie, there is an overlap between this video and the deep dive but hey, if you buy a lock, you'll be spending a whole lot of time enjoying it or hating it. That's going to hurt tomorrow. So it's better to know ahead of time. FYI, the deep dive video follows the same structure, so you can skip to whichever section you're most interested in. Thanks for watching. Which feature did you like the most? You don't want to miss an upcoming video where I'm comparing the Alpha DB1 with an Alpha DB2. And remember, no job done right just needs paint.